Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode is my 200th episode. I mean, my God, it took me a long time to get here, uh, you know, a little over two years, uh, you know, trying to consistently try to put out an episode every week, and I'm finally here at episode 200. And so today's episode, I just want to kind of get, you know, go over with you um, what I sort of plan to do and, and some new things that I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to attempt to do and uh, try to, uh, you know, Keep you up to date on, on where this channel is going to be going. And again, uh, let's remind everyone to, if you haven't subscribed below, and as I said, most of you have, have, got, have had a subscription, but again, if uh, you're new and uh, you know you think that my content has earned you uh, a subscription, please do so. Go down below, click that red box, you know, hit subscribe. Um, you know, there's a lot of good material here that uh, you know, you know, I think it will be interest you. And don't forget to do check out. The database link is on both because uh, YouTube doesn't really recommend my videos. So in order to get the full you know, content of all the things, that, like I said, literally I've got 200 episodes now of content uh, about anime. And it's about, it's about the history of anime, right? And, um, it's, and uh, basically they're trying to organize it into a book form. And uh, again, you want to go down below and click that link there. And that will give you the full database of all the episodes uh, that, that you can uh, you know, watch, right? So... Congratulations, you know, welcome to episode 200. So uh, this is a definitely a, uh, you know, uh, one of the, um, you know, uh, milestones uh, that I set for myself. I didn't think I was going to get here, you know, well, definitely wasn't thinking of getting here, you know, anytime soon. But, uh, you know, I guess uh, soon became <laughs> later and uh, all of a sudden I'm here, right? So uh, thank everyone who has, uh, you know, subscribed and has, has uh, you know, come up to this point, supported me for all this time. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as I've been looking at my 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 analytics and that stuff, you know, I'm getting more and more people that are following and and, and, and watching. Um, I guess uh, you know a lot of people are are you know maybe not so you know yeah you, know, you know following some maybe some of the more modern animes and are ready to go backwards and and uh, and to see what uh, what older animes they they can get into. And so that definitely um, one of the things I'm uh, one of the key things I am planning to do is I'm going to continue working on the my anime list. Um, you know, again from 1988, 89, and uh, and uh, on to into the 90s. Okay, um, again, I, I, I've you know been pretty you know uh, sort of really, really you know deeply into the anime scene and into, into, into all different products uh, all, and all the tape trade and that kind of stuff. So again, you know, there are many newer people, you know, maybe like Anime Man or something like that, who's watched all the animes that are newer. But I mean, for someone who's done the opposite and watched all the older animes, you know, definitely, I think I, I can feel that, uh, that, you know, that need, that, uh, uh, you know, fairly big shoes to, to fill. But definitely, I'm going to continue working on that way. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the episodes have gotten much bigger and longer. Just because, you know, now we're in with, with a sheer number of uh, new OVAs. It used to be that, you know, in 1985 and 86, there was only 20 OVAs in total altogether for the entire year. And all of a sudden now, uh, you know, as I'm entering in 1988, I've noticed that, you know, there's some some seasons have 20 OEVAs in one season. So in order to cover that, we're gonna have to basically have more episodes of those uh, to basically cover all the episodes that are going, because I said, I don't wanna miss anything. Like, you know, you know there are a lot of significant titles that are out there and I don't wanna kind of, you know, breeze over it if it doesn't, uh, you know, if it doesn't, uh, you know, need uh, more explanation, because you know, that's going to be our, our primary focus. So I'm going to have more and more episodes of those ones. I'm still going to do the best um, collection or best, uh, you know, recommended viewings of these particular uh, OEVAs and, and uh, things by year. And then basically, when I hit 19, when I get all of 1989, um, 1989 done so basically i'll have all you know, an incredibly a part of the 1980s i will then take all the stuff that i've got to recommend it and i'll put them together into a top tier list okay so basically you know really you know i know there are a lot of people that say you know you know best animes to watch or whatever or top animes to, uh, you know for every year or whatever but they haven't really done the research they haven't watched all the different things they haven't you know looked and compared all the other things i mean a lot of uh, as I referred to as Homerism is going in there, right? You know, they're picking fan, their favorites out of that, which is fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with picking a favorite 
you know, making a top list of my favorite animes, um, that's fine. But um, to really have, uh, you know, and answer that question, the best of animes and that kind of stuff, I think you really need to go through all the different listings and then basically, you know, match them fairly against each other, uh, you, know, you know, against like uh, things and um, come up with that, okay? Now, the other thing that I'm doing is as I'm building this list and going through, I'm also, you know, expanding my database and my spreadsheet of all the different uh, OEVAs and things that are significant through the, these particular years. And I'm going to basically, again, once I get enough data accumulated uh, up, you know, to 1989, because of the how you know, everything from the 80s, um, I'll be able to then look at this data and then see what kind of animes that are out there, um, see if I can notice a trend, and I'm already seeing some different trends in that custom already there, but let, let's see how they pan out in the next four years to make sure that, uh, you know, they, 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 they are consistent from 1988 and 89. Make sure all those are all, you know, uh, consistent, so then that, that'll finish off the 1980s year. And then again, I will continue on and, can, and do this entire thing for the 1990s as well. But, you know, that's going to be also covered in the next episode, uh, coming up episode as well. So a lot of good stuff is going to be happening, um, you know, uh, as I enter in, into the 200s of episodes, okay? Um, the other thing that, uh, that that's really exciting that um, I didn't think, uh, you know, when I first started this channel, you know, I, I remember I got the idea from, 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 from Johnny uh, over at the Happy Console Gamer. And um, one of the things I did was when I, when I was on his show almost three years ago, um, I didn't make a mention that I, I that I wanted to start an um, you know an anime channel or start a YouTube channel or anything like that. And even the multiple times I went on to a show to to um, you know to say uh, you know different things and, and, and do different collabs and that kind of stuff, I never really mentioned the fact that I was running an anime channel. And the reason why is because I wanted to make sure that I had the content available. Like I didn't want um, you know, to, you know, to do the invite, you know, invitation from, you know, you know, Johnny's channel, uh, uh, you know, to invite, uh, their, you know, their subscribers over there, over to my, to my channel to see what, what content I had, if I had no content, right? So, um, the, a lot of the, you know, so on my last collab that I did, where, where, I, where I, you know, visited, um, Johnny during the first anime giveaway, um, you know, and I invited, uh, their, um, you know, uh, subscribers on uh, his channel that come over. I at least had over 150 episodes of content ready and available uh, and in viewable, uh, you know, state for those, uh, you know, people that are coming over. So at least they had something to subscribe to and something that they can watch. And so if, you know, that was sort of one of my first goals I had. So it wasn't so much... Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm, you know, building this to, you know, to get my channel monetized or whatever. Um, it was just more of, I had a lot of information, a lot of information to share things that I didn't see anyone else on YouTube really doing. Okay. And still to this day, I don't really see a lot of these people doing the same things that I'm, that I'm trying to, uh, to present and do. And again, it's just because of the age of the, 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 the people that are doing it. And of course the. Um, you know, when a lot of these new people got into anime, for example, let's say uh, Anime Man, right? I mean, he's, you know, uh, you know, he, you know, obviously entered anime at a much, much later state uh, than, 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 for example, what I have. And again, he wouldn't have access to a lot of the, um, you know, the, the goods or the animes uh, that he, you know, would have had uh, and getting into anime at the age that he would have had, um, you know, being where it is. So, again... Um, you know, the, I want to stay within my expertise to go and do and uh, and, and proceed on with that way. The other thing that, I, that, that I'm going to be doing is, uh, you know, um, I don't want to be doing too much um, reviews or watching new animes because I want to, um, I don't want to spoil myself by trying to watch something that's really new that is technically based on something that's, that, uh, you know, came from an earlier path, you know, an earlier viewing right um for example um you know if, you know i'll watch a little bit of goblin slayer for example and of course then demon slayer and you know a lot of new people say well wow this is really you know great and this is very very controversial or whatever but you know i'm already realizing that you know because i've already watched other shows which already were pretty edgy on the you know on, on that sort of you know, range and 
and had different things going for them. So, for example, in something like you know Goblin Slayer, you know there was you know they had a very controversial first episode or whatever, and um, because of a certain scene. But then, you know, I've because of uh, you know the fact that I've been watching animes from you know from the beginning of when anime started, um, you know I've already seen other shows that had this kind of stuff already in it. And so this is not a new idea. This is not a new concept. For example, you know the the Keska scene out of Bast, uh, out of uh, Berserk. Okay, the DS scene out of Dark Schneider uh, uh, from Dark Schneider, uh, from Bastard. Okay, um, and of course the silliness that that, that you do from let's say uh, you know Slayers, for example. Um, you know all this kind of stuff, kind of already built in and kind of gave me the knowledge of what has happened in the past, and now I. I I'm seeing a lot of these similar, you know, sort of tropes, if you will, uh, in shows like uh, Goblin Slayer and Demon Slayer, right? So I did. So I want to make sure that I don't want to miss anything in between. Let's say, you know, let's say when, for example, uh, you know, um, uh, Berserk came out, and let's say, for example, when Goblin Slayer came out, there's, you know, I want to make sure there's nothing in those in between that might have also, you know, led to that sort of same trope. So, um, so basically, yeah, so I'm going to be, uh, you know, as I'm continuing forward with that, I'm going to also bring in forth different animes that, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, you know, I watch and go through. So I'll, t- I'll be taking my suggestions and watching the animes when I get to that point. But that's, that's, uh, you know, gets, let's get the 80s done, let's get the 90s done, let's get the, you know, 2000s. Um, you know the millennium and the millennium's done, and then of course you know then we can start getting into the 2010 and onward stuff, and that's where you know again you know before I'll hand it over to the to the newer guys that that'll take care of it after the 2010s, right? Um, and that's when you know the anime sort of really started taking off, and this you know, YouTube reviews and the reactions that kind of stuff really took off. So I you know for then I don't really need to worry about it so much, but you know at least for what I know, let's you know take care of that part, okay? Um, so those are two very, uh, you know, things that I, I'm going to get, you know, that I'm going to really concentrate on in the, in the next little while. Of course, I will still be doing, you know, m- many featured episodes. I still have lots of um, anime convention footage. I just, uh, um, you know, had a had a talk with uh, one of the, one of my friends that went down to the anime San Diego Comic uh, Comic Con, um, and we did that. And of course, uh, you know, we uh, you know talked about very 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 different, you know, various different topics and. And you know his view on how he did the, how he did the convention as opposed to what I did. But we got a lot of uh, uh, we exchanged the pictures of both of our cameras, so that uh, you know he might have some similar things that we talked about and different points of view and different angles of the things that we did. So uh, definitely going to go through that. Um, I know I've got uh, different sort of uh, trips and stuff coming up, uh, you know, and uh, so I'll, I'll be having videos of those. Um, as I, you know, do some more conventions and that kind of stuff, I'll be uh, definitely um, featuring those and, and talking about those. And of course, um, the other new thing that, that, that that's uh, you know that's that's popping up and that's uh, sort of uh, you know came up to the, the viewers is that uh, I'm almost uh, you know at the level of uh, you know the, the, you know getting to uh, YouTube affiliate status, and so I'm thinking of different ways to you know get different content and reward different people. With different uh, content, and so uh, the idea of now I'm uh, going to um, uh, spawn a, a separate a subscription service, possibly, and uh, I haven't worked out the details, but um, you know I'm already working with the concept of what it is and whatnot, and I may make an example of what that. So, um, like many other viewers, and and even the Happy Console Gamer, he has a, a subscription service uh, available um, through Patreon. Uh, where uh, you know every month uh, a special episode will be made for his um, Patreon uh, users, and I may follow the same kind of idea. Maybe I'm thinking, uh, you know, um, at a you know say five dollars a month or something like that. Um, I will create a uh, you know sort of an unedited sort of one hour one and a half hour episode of free running content. And one thing that's really nice about this is is that then I'm you know because I'm not publicly posting this thing on YouTube and whatnot, uh, per se, um, then I'm not having to do the restrictions of, let's say, you know, um, you know, video content and, uh, and music content 
uh, always being you know uh, you know copyright striking and, and stricken 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 um, uh, that uh, that you know that usually happens when I'm when I'm trying to put video or audio onto YouTube. So um, this might be the way to uh, you know serve the, you know, those people who are interested in that sort of in, in, in that kind of thing. So I think that might be kind of an exciting thing, uh, kind of an interesting thing to do uh, on a monthly basis. And so I'm going to make that sort of option. I'm too late to with that option, but I'll make that option available. Um, and I'll maybe make a, a sample for that, uh, uh, for you people to see and, and, and this, uh, you know, when I get that sort of set up. The second thing that someone suggested is, is, um, why just stop at making, you know, a custom episode or, or a, 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 you know, a special episode for just the subscribers? Why not actually make custom episodes for an individual? And that's, sort of a you know an interesting concept and and it makes sense because usually when i you know when when customers come into the store and we talk about different things you know i start learning and knowing what the customer comes in the store looking for and starts knowing like you know hey you know you are interested in let's say bubblegum crisis okay and then i would know that okay you know hey the next time a bubblegum crisis video comes out then I know to tell you, hey, there's another bubble crisis that came out, or there's bubble and crash that came out. There is, uh, you know, um, they made something called the ADP police, you know, AD police files and that kind of stuff, um, you know, and all this other things that that, that that would follow up. And if something like that came up, or um, I remember, uh, like, you know, for example, a CD or something would come out, then I would know to make a mention to you specifically that, hey, this thing came out since the last time you were in the store, uh, you know, this thing came up. So um, it's highly possible that, you know, to, to make something very similar to that. Once I, you know, learn a little more information and not kind of stuff about you, then I can, you know, tailor and and, and make something um, or, and give you some content of something uh, that you, you are interested in um, that you definitely wouldn't get somewhere else because this episode has been specifically scripted for you, okay? Um, so again, uh, you know, that was a really kind of an interesting idea. And I'm thinking, you know, that's a different way to use, you know, let's say, uh, I, I don't know what, what kind of platform would have to, you know, to keep the platform on YouTube or, um, or, or just to do the videos uh, directly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, or as some suggested, like, you know, um, uh, only fans and that kind of stuff, uh, would be a way to do that kind of thing. But I'm just thinking, you know, that's, that's a really interesting way um for you know fans and that kind of stuff uh and your subscribers and that kind of stuff to get really really specialized uh content but also have it unrestricted in any way right so sure i'm probably not going to edit it and, and clip out all the my ums and ahs and and thinking and pauses and that kind of stuff but at the same time it's more free running i can you know i can uh show different things that i couldn't show on youtube uh you know especially for example hentai and I could play stuff that I couldn't do on uh, on YouTube, for example, um, music CD, music selections, and music uh, you know ideas. Uh, for example, if you like a particular thing and you like, um, you know, and I knew you liked, let's say Street Fighter, for example, then I've got some Street Fighter you know CDs and that kind of stuff, for example, that that I don't think a regular person would know that that exists. Okay. For example, you know, in, in, in the case of Street Fighter, and I showed it in my previous video, that um, you know, there's a there's a Street Fighter album that has people singing the Street Fighter theme song, right? So you know, um, that's something different, right? Like you, you wouldn't expect to hear that, um, but I do have something like that, and I, and I have that in my collection. And again, to you know, to avoid uh, uh, DCMA strikes and that kind of stuff, um, having a specific, you know exterior type episode made for that uh, you uh, like that um maybe the answer maybe the way to make that kind of a content so i thought okay well that might be a way so so again that is something that that, that is that, that uh is, is is in the thoughts and again if you think that you you know think this is a great idea or you you know you would love that idea or you'd like to give that a try or whatever um write your comments on the on the, in, the, in the comments below it's just to see you know if you like that idea or, or, or not uh, you think that is a good idea or not? Um, 
And, uh, and if you have some suggestions uh, you know, for that, uh, that'd be great. Uh, I'd like to hear it below. Um, but yeah, that's sort of one of the extra sort of suggestions that, 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 that we get there. So again, I'm going to have a whole bunch. Of, I'm going to continue doing one episode every every week uh, for you. Um, I should hit an affiliate. Hopefully, hit an affiliate stats probably close to episode 250. So that'd be great. Um, I'm already starting to build, um, you know, uh, a, a, a cash of of uh, of goodies for anime giveaway number three. And again, I know you a lot. Of, uh, you know, I'm starting to see a lot of your people's tastes as you uh, write me. Um, you know, so, uh, you know what you are interested in. So I know. I mean, I know I'm going to have more kind of uh, that kind of material ready and waiting for you uh, because I know that you're going to be, you know, <laughs> very interested in some of the, 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 the stuff that comes up. So again, I'm going to save some good stuff for uh, part three. And um, I don't know what is it. Uh, I, I, again, I, you know, I'm going to probably release that either when it hit affiliate status or when it hit around 250 episodes, I think. Um, you know, I should be able to hit that. So again, um, you know, I'd like to thank you for you know, listening this long and, you know, see, hearing what I have to say. And again, I hope to continue making more things that you are going to be interested in and you want to want know about the history of how fan anime got the way it is here in North America. All right. So thank you again. And again, till we get to the next time, I will see you again.